All right, so we should now be live. You guys can hear me. Let me know. Get all set up here. Make sure I'm in the camera. Decluttering my desk. Probably set should have done here. that before. Oh, make sure I'm in the camera. Here. Okay. There we go. Okay, I had it playing in the background. <laughs> you guys can hear me. Let me know. All right, good. Got a lot of questions before I even started. Awesome, because it gives me stuff to talk about. Not having to come up with things on the fly. Well, let me do the hellos first, and then we will go back and answer the questions that I already have in the chat. Hi to Shannon. Hi to DJ Mockingjay. Hi to N. Perfect. Shannon can hear me. Amy can hear me. Awesome. How is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully everybody is doing well and couponing. It's been a pretty good week, actually, um, with couponing. Especially at Kroger. Like, oh my goodness. It, when I saw all that stuff yesterday, like, it was insane. Hi to Hal. Hello to Sylvia. Hi to Dana. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are doing well. Hi to CW. Hi to Jane. Hey to Natasha. Ready for Friday. Yes, totally. Amy, I'm ready for the weekend. Yes. Hi to Josh. Howdy to Lori Beth. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to do some live chat. I know we missed last week. Um, last Thursday was pretty crazy. Um, I ended up going out and doing some um, DoorDash orders and stuff. And um, I wasn't going to make it home in time. But then... Like, I thought about doing it a little bit later, but then we ended up getting hit with, like, crazy bad weather. I don't know if any of you guys had crazy bad weather last um, Thursday or not, but it was really, really, like, crazy. I was out doing a delivery, um, and it was going for 9 o'clock. Not quite. It was going for 9 o'clock. And, I mean, like, seriously, it just started lightning out of nowhere. Like, lightning went crazy. And then it started raining, and, the, you know, I'm pretty sure it was, like, super windy. Some people got hail. And then I'm doing a delivery and my mom calls and was like, uh, there's a tornado. She meant watch, which she thought it was a warning, but we were under a tornado watch, like a severe thunderstorm warning. And it was like, wow. And so, yeah. But thankfully the weather's cooperated today. It's cold though. It's cold again, unfortunately, but, um, not the worst. It was in the forties today. All right, I'm going to get into questions. And if anybody else comes in and says hi, I will give you a hello shout out um, once I get down the list of all these questions. All right.
what do you do to keep track of your purchases and rebates slash coupons? So um, I assume you mean like how do I keep track of the money? Like how do I keep track of what I'm spending and what I'm getting back? Is that what you mean, Shannon? Let me know and then I'll try to answer that for you. Um, approximately how much time do you spend a week finding and purchasing deals? For me, it's a little bit different because um, my job is to do matchups. So if I was just a, like a regular person, estimated, I would say a couple of hours a week watching people's videos. And when you watch the videos, you go to the store and get your deals. For me, since I'm doing matchups and stuff, um, for you guys, trying to put together all the available deals, it's several hours a week. Um, the deal finding part is probably what the majority of my time is with the videos, like versus editing and um, filming and all that stuff. Like the majority of the time is spent scouring through the rebate apps and um, digital coupons and basically seeing what matches up. Um, it definitely is for me several hours of a process, um, just like going through seeing what new has popped up. Um, but for an average person, I would say you could watch people's videos and, you know, however much time it takes to watch videos. I would say people probably spend a couple of hours a week watching videos. Um, so I'm going to turn that question around to you guys. How much time do you spend a week finding and purchasing deals as somebody who's a viewer of the videos, like how much time does it take you guys? I'd love to hear y'all's um, feedback as well. And the next one, is there a way to choose a product you need and find sales coupons and no rebates to lower your price for that product? So um, everything goes on sale at a certain time. Unfortunately, we don't find, like, it'd be nice if every week, like, oh, we need um, whatever. We need uh, cans of corn or something. Um, just be able to walk right in and get a deal. Doesn't always work that way, but there are some strategies. So kind of what you can do is you always can check the rebate apps and the digital coupons and do a search for that particular product or brand or whatever, and it'll pull up any available coupons. Like in Kroger, if I type in toilet paper or toilet tissue or bath tissue, or whatever it's called, type it in, it'll bring up any coupons and same with like I bought it and stuff. So you can search on the apps and see what offers are currently available. Um, but a way that is really good is when the deal does come on a product that you use to go ahead and grab enough for, um, four to six weeks typically is when things go on sale. So buy enough to last you that time frame. Hopefully that answers your question. I know that was kind of, um, a lot. Hopefully that answers your question. Um. Okay, and then Shannon said, yes. Okay, so how do I keep track of all of that? So um, basically, how do I keep track of my purchases and rebates and coupons? Um, I have a spreadsheet, but you can do it on paper as well. Um, I keep track of what I spend, and then I also keep track of what I get back for the week. So let's say, um, like today, I spent, what did I spend? Let me actually just reference my spreadsheet. So like a Dollar Tree, I spent $16.08. But I got back fifteen fifty in rebates. So I kind of have like a running column for each week of, okay, here's what's going out on groceries. But then I also keep track of what's coming in. And then at the end of the week or the start of the new week or whatever, what I'll do is I'll go in my PayPal and transfer out the rebate money that I got for the week. And then, you know, that applies to what I spent. If I, hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Chrissy says, we love some ideas on couponing and eating out. Trying to save some more on date nights out with my hubby. Thanks. Okay, I'm not, I'm guilty of not always doing this, but seriously, get the restaurants apps, your favorite restaurants apps, um, sign up for their emails, stuff like that, because they do coupons all the time, seriously. And they have rewards programs um, and stuff like that. If you scan your little code or your rewards program or whatever you get points and that eventually turns into free 
money off your purchase or a free entree or whatever. So sign up for all the rewards and all the emails and all that stuff. You'll get a lot of them, but a lot of times they have coupons like Ruby Tuesday. They send me coupons like every week or something like buy one meal, get one for $3 or um, try to think of other restaurants that do it a lot. Wendy's rewards. I know it's probably not a date night destination, but they have um, their rewards are awesome. You literally, you scan it and then you get points and that turns into free items. And also Hothead does that. Um, if you guys have a Hothead Burritos, they have a really good reward system. Um, and those points add up. McDonald's, I know people do it at McDonald's too. Um, I'm trying to think of all the, I mean, oh my gosh, guys. So many fast food places have rewards and they really do add up. I mean, they're kind of a pain, but um to have all the different apps and all the emails, but they really do pay off. And the same kind of thing goes for like retail stores like um, Kohl's and JCPenney and stuff like that. They'll, they'll literally send you free coupons and you can get free stuff. So all those rewards programs um, and restaurant store apps, they definitely pay off. Oh, that's great. I'm doing the shopping for my mom. I have her watch your videos and she tells me if she wants anything. That's awesome, Shayna. That's great. Also, a friend of hers is interested. Awesome. Um, I am doing well, and thank you for asking. Hi to Christine. Hope your spark orders are going well. Um, I haven't been doing really any here lately, um, but thank you for checking. Tornadoes, the ADPs. I was thinking tornadoes. I mean, ADPs. I was like, what's an ADP? We had tornadoes just north of us on Thursday last week. Yeah, there was some really bad tornadoes in Ohio, actually. Um, really bad. Eating some back to nature cookies and some silk. Awesome. Did you see the $2 rebate for Armin Hammer for buying the deep clean that made the Armin Hammer deal even better? No, I didn't see. Somebody mentioned to me they found a PayPal rebate, but I wasn't sure where it was. I think I did see somebody do that, though. But I couldn't, like, I wasn't sure where to find it. Hello from New Mexico. Cool. To Bernadine, hello. Hi to Janet. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? Hello to Dolores. Maria says, this is my second time joining your live chats. They are so helpful, and I love watching your videos. They've made such a huge difference. Appreciate your time and effort. Oh, thank you so much, Maria. I'm glad to have you here. Did you see the story about the woman in Nebraska who misused a Star Rewards program and got 7,000 gallons of gas for free, valued at $27,000? Oh, my gosh. That's insane. I did not see that. She discovered if she swiped the card twice, it put the pump into demo mode. While in demo mode, free gas is given. She did this 510 times including getting another woman to pay her five hundred dollars for seven hundred dollars worth of gas wow that's insane hello to amy t so we got amy d and amy t amy t says were you a math whiz in high school you seem like it honestly no um i was not a fan of algebra and trig geometry did not enjoy. 
But um, I like couponing and I like businessy kind of math. So, but not the hard, not the super hard stuff. You start getting letters in there mixed with numbers. It's a little too complicated for me. I mean, I got through it, but wouldn't want to do it again. What deals does Dollar Tree have this week? So I went specifically to do the Rockstar deal again, um, the Rockstar Energy Drinks. You guys are so incredibly kind. I can't even believe how many of y'all used my link to get the Rockstar deal because I have so many of those referrals. So I've been trying to, like, I did several today. I did three at Dollar Tree, two at Kroger, two at Walmart. So seven today um, between those three stores. And so I went to Dollar Tree and did that. Um, and then I used that overage to get some stuff at Dollar Tree. So I got some Scotty's tissues. I got some like dental floss placards because I that's something I've not got deals on in quite some time. And then um, I don't have a ton of men's shampoo, if you can believe that. So they had some like Arm & Hammer men's body wash and shampoo and conditioner. So basically by the time I did all that with the Rockstar, because the Rockstar at Dollar Tree is $1.25. Um, so $2.50 and the $5 rebate, everything ended up being like crazy cheap, like 60 cents or 30 cents or something crazy like that i really like google sheets shannon it um i have my whole like budget in google sheets i just keep track of my grocery spending and it really helps because if you don't know what you're getting back like if you don't know what you're getting back it can be a mess to know okay what am i really spending it takes me three plus hours to put together deals that includes watching videos and matching offers on different apps. Thank you for commenting. I was curious how long it takes people. Do you walk each aisle and Walmart link for clearance items and matchups and any cashback offers? Um, sometimes I will go down aisles that have markdowns. Typically, my Walmart kind of does different like stages, um, like. The personal care, like, they'll mark one or two aisles down, and then a couple days later, they'll mark another couple aisles down. I don't know why they do it that way, but um, sometimes, but sometimes I will, yes. If there's, if I see people on, like, Instagram talk about clearance and stuff to look for. Typically, though, everybody else's clearance is better than mine. <laughs> You saved my family thousands of dollars. I love your videos. Keep posting. Well, thank you so much, Lori Beth. I'm really, really happy to hear that. What do you think about Walgreens changing their digital and perk process? Um, I hadn't heard about Walgreens changing anything. Does anybody want to fill me in? I heard about Target making changes. I hadn't heard about Walgreens. Guys, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I actually went to Walgreens last week and I couponed a little bit. Um, just a couple of deals and I still have a register war because I didn't see anything really good at Walgreens this week that I wanted to do. But I went last week. Um, like the, um, sorry, I blanked. The Garnier Fructis. If any of you guys get in on that, the rebate came out on Friday and it was gone on Friday. Like literally you hardly had any time to do it. But I was able to do that. So it was the Garnier. It was two, four, eight. And I had a digital for like $3 off a two. And then I got back a $4 register reward. And then I got back $4.59 and I bought it for buying two. So it was a great money maker. So then I flipped that into another transaction where I bought a Colgate mouthwash and a Colgate um, toothpaste. I had two dollar digitals for each, so four dollars. I used the four dollar register work from the Garnier, just paid tax, got back another four dollars, and I did another transaction. It's so weird because I don't coupon at Walgreens that much, but the deals are really good that week, and the cashier was really nice. So I just went back in and did some more. I got the whole blends because that was a separate digital. It was two for eight, three off two digital, four dollar register award. So made them a dollar for two plus tax. So that was pretty good. Um, but now I have this four dollar register reward. I was going to use this week, but I just didn't see that much going on at Walgreens that I wanted to get. When I looked at the ad for next week, and it doesn't look much better. So I don't know what I'll use the register award on. 
I'll figure it out. But yeah, let me know um, about Walgreens, what the change is, because I'd be interested to in know. Did you see where Joanne Fabrics has filed for bankruptcy? I did see that. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Um, mine closed in January, sadly. Um, I liked if I needed anything from Joanne's, which wasn't super often anymore. But if I ever needed anything and I could get it at Joanne, um, I would because they still kept their 40% off coupon. And I liked that about Joanne. And a lot of times, honestly, with that coupon, you can get stuff cheaper than even like Walmart. So, yeah, um, it was a bummer that they closed. I expect I, I expect a lot of retailers to close this year. Like, they're already closing a ton. Like, um, Rite Aid's closed a bunch. I don't know how, but mine's not closed. It's still there. And it's never on the list of closing ones. So, they must do well. Um, so, they're still there. Um, Family Dollar, that's another one. Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, they're going to close. They're one company, if you guys didn't know that. They're closing a 1,000 stores. A 1,000. That's a lot. I honestly, I feel like one of mine will close because my town has four of them, and literally two of them are on the same exact street, like barely a mile apart, if that. So I feel like they're going to probably close one of those, but maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, and the, the one that I'm thinking they'll close, it's really small. It's not a very big store. The other one's a lot nicer. It has a Dollar Tree in it. So I feel like it's like a hybrid Dollar Tree. I feel like, I don't know, maybe not, but I feel like they'll close one of them. Um, because like, why would you need two of them literally like a mile apart? It seems silly, but I don't know. Um, it kind of surprised me about Family Dollar. Dollar General's like boom, boom, boom. Like they're building new stores constantly. And in my opinion, I feel like Family Dollar is nicer inside than Dollar General. But I do think their prices are a little more. But if I didn't care about prices and couponing, I think Family Dollar is nicer than Dollar General. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but that's a controversial opinion. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stores closing. Um, even a Walmart in Columbus just closed, which like you don't hear about Walmart closing all that often. <laughs> all right, let's make sure I'm not behind here on comments. Oh, I am behind. Okay, which room do you keep your stockpile, and where do you get the baskets and boxes to organize? So, the stockpile is in a little corner in our laundry room, in the back of our laundry room. I guess it's not a corner; it's in the back of our laundry room. Um, just actually it kind of feels like its own room because we put up a curtain. So it's kind of like separate from the rest of the laundry room, but it's in the laundry room, if that makes sense. Um, the boxes I got for free at Sam's Club. Whenever we did like pickups or whatever from Sam's Club, they'd put stuff in those big boxes. And so we just kept them and actually work out really good for stockpile. They hold a lot of stuff. And then the baskets were just from Dollar Tree. Honestly, guys, get your organization baskets at Dollar Tree. They're so much cheaper than anywhere else. I did my best deal yet. Walmart delivery paid 30 and got back $21 when I bought it in Fetch. I wish more apps used electronic receipts. I go shopping physically about two or three weeks. That is something a lot of people are saying right now. And I don't know why they don't make it an option. Either A, the stores, I mean the rebate apps, I'm sorry, the rebate apps do accept digital receipts, which really I don't know why they don't because most of the time they do still have the same information on them. Um, or the store should provide a printed receipt if you want one um but yeah i don't know why they won't accept digital receipts especially in some of these states where they are trying to um, like ban paper receipts they're going to need to come up with some sort of accommodation because if they don't then people can't submit to the rebate apps which would be stupid
Um, how many weeks does it take you to figure out your deals? For me, it, it's kind of different because it's um, my job here on YouTube is to come up with deals. So I spend more time than the average person. How do you earn money from your channel? I did not realize your links like Rockstar help you earn. I will do your link from now on. Um, yeah, so the main way I earn is just from you guys watching the videos and um, the little commercials that play. Those um, are what pay me the majority. But a lot of you guys over the years have signed up for my rebate apps. Like with my, not my, it's not my rebate apps, but with my referral links to the rebate apps. And those um, help me out too a ton. Um, and also that specific link for the rockstar is a referral link and it was actually for everybody who used that link i got another one of the five dollars back on two authors so that really helps they don't all the links don't always help me out um but that one did so i appreciate everybody who did that sadly there is no referral code thank you for checking though um yes target is eliminating self-checkouts honestly a lot of stores are eliminating self-checkout um, that's a good good point you brought that up. I want to hear down below in the chat. Have you guys, have your stores recently closed self-checkouts or significantly limited self-checkout? So far here, they've not like completely got rid of it, but they have one store in particular has cut back its self-checkout with the Dollar General. They cut it down to five items or less, but I'm hearing a lot of these stores are coming out saying they're getting rid of them altogether or getting rid of them at a bunch of stores like Dollar General's closing the self-checkouts at 300, I think they said. And then they're significantly reducing how many items you can get on other ones. Um, Target, I know, is cutting it down. Walmart's kind of backtracking now saying that, well, this is up to the managers. It's like not a corporate thing, even though that's really not what they said originally. But I think they're getting a lot of pushback from it um, because people would be really mad if they got rid of self-checkout. And the main thing for me is I don't want to wait in line for like two hours or whatever at Walmart. I mean, that's an exaggeration. But if they don't have self-checkouts and Walmart does like they do and only has a couple lines open, People will be there for hours waiting, and people aren't going to put up with that. I've already heard people just in like my everyday circles, like, well, if they do that, I'm just not going to Walmart anymore. I'll go to Kroger because they're not currently getting rid of their self checkout. So, yeah, um, but a lot of stores are getting rid of self checkouts. Yes, yes, I did the Arm & Hammer deal um, on my Wednesday video. Aw, thank you so much. You're the best and always respond to our comments and questions. I apologize. I have been struggling lately getting behind on comments. I'm trying to do better at that. Live from Oklahoma, what store do you think is the best for diaper deals? I honestly would say um, Target is probably the best for diaper deals because they do um, baby gift cards like spend 100 get 30 or spend 100 get 25 every couple of weeks it seems like and then there's typically always coupons in the target app you can combine so you can end up saving like 50 percent on diapers with target if you have one um it's kind of hard to get diaper deals kroger sometimes does promos on baby stuff too Walgreens can be tough sometimes in missing register awards. I'm still trying to reach them for my missing $7. Set email and may call back two hour wait time. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, I had that problem with CVS. It would take forever to get things resolved. Walgreens, they used to have good success on their online chat. I don't know if they still do that or not. If, like I said, I barely ever coupon at Walgreens. But last week, I. I don't know. When I saw that I bought a rebate, I was like, I'm just, I'm going to Walgreens. And I did. 
and I got some good deals. Do you ever do any of the surveys on Swagbucks? I do not. Typically, I find the pay is, is too low for how much time you spend on them. That's my experience, typically. Is it good deals for Walgreens? They have $40 in Walgreens cash to use. Yeah, this week just is not that good. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, good night, Amy. Sorry if you already left. I just saw it. Hi to ET. Go get a Tide detergent for five forty nine and a caramel for forty nine cents. Use the four dollars store and more to be digital for the Tide. Oh yeah, that's a good option. Nick really needs you to Walgreens. <laughs> I uh, know, it's a shock. But hadn't really gotten any deals on those products in a while, so. The clearance at Walgreens is great this week. Oh, sorry. Clear care. Why did I say clearance? The clear care at Walgreens is great this week. $21.99 in store. Six dollar digital. If you combine it with the arm and hammer and use a spend perk to spend thirty or seven. I paid twenty two ninety six. Eleven dollar. I bought a two dollar fetch. Seven dollar Walgreens cash. Nice. That's really good. They legally have to offer some form of receipt, at least in my state. Yeah, they at least here they say the digital receipts is what. What um they say they get around it. My DG self checkout has just never worked. They don't work a lot. I've actually noticed that. One store in particular, the digital coupons might never come off. My Walmart has closed the self checkouts for the health and beauty side. They sell them open on the grocery side. So have you noticed the lines being worse? Or. Do they have more checkouts open? Oh, thank you so, so much, Yang's Craft House. I signed up with your Rockstar today. I really appreciate that. Um, the Rockstar is, there's a rebate. If you buy two, you get $5 back. And basically, in most all the stores, you can make money on them buying them. Because a Dollar Tree, they're $1.25. Currently at Kroger, they're $2.69. Buy one, get one free. Um, Walmart, they're $1.88. Target, they're close to that, so you can uh, make money on those. Or they have people who say they can't stand self checkout, but then they don't want to stay in line for a regular register or for a regular cashier if they got rid of self checkout. Yeah, yeah. People either love it or hate it. I guess I I love self checkouts. I know some people are like, I don't get paid to do the store's job, but for me, I mean. I would rather just do it myself, get out quicker. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for that super chat, MB. I truly, truly appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of CVS or Walgreens couponing. I can't pay my bills with registered rewards in our Walgreens cash. I totally agree. I really do. Um, that's one of the main things that turns me off from Walgreens is that if I gotta pay thirty dollars out of pocket to get thirty dollars in Walgreens cash, to me, and this is controversial, but to me, it's not free because I'm not getting that thirty dollars back in my bank account. Now that day at Walgreens. When I paid like five something out of pocket, got four fifty nine back, and I bought a money, that felt different to me than just getting a register award. And when I had the register award, then I used that to barely pay anything to get more register awards. But I totally agree. Like I'm not one. Like I won't go in there and spend thirty dollars um, a week 
to get Walgreens cash. He's, yeah, it doesn't pay your bills or come back in your bank account. I totally get it. And honestly, I'm that way with a lot of rebate apps too. Like there are some rebate apps where you can't cash out for a super long time. And it's like, if my money's going to be tied up for six months, you know, not being able to cash out for such a long time, like I typically ignore them. not missing anything with Walgreens yeah I, it's I've watched some videos it just looks it's so weird last week is really good this week not so much yes I definitely will go use the register one I have till next Friday so I'll figure something out maybe like some good rebate will pop up there and I can use it for that um Kaylee I didn't must have missed your video about Walgreens I didn't end up doing a video about it because it was so late in the week and um, I figured everybody knew about the deal Um, Walmart spark driver waited in a long self checkout line, and she's having Walmart will designate one self checkout for spark drivers. That's what a lot of these Walmarts are planning to do um, by closing self checkout for all of us everyday people. What would you say is the best grocery store? The best store for groceries that most people have Walmart, Aldi, or somewhere else? I'm gonna be honest. Walmart is hit or miss, in my opinion. Um, some things I feel like are a good price. Some things are pretty pricey on. Um, especially if you're couponing, like, a box of cereal at Walmart. That's one thing I never get at Walmart, is cereal. Cereal's so expensive at Walmart, compared to anywhere else, pretty much. Like, even the drug stores put cereal on sale for cheaper than Walmart. Um... I'm trying to think of other stuff that Walmart has that's really not that good of a deal. But there, Walmart, if you got your everyday, like everything there for your groceries, I feel like you're going to pay more than other places. Um, now, that's not to say that I, I just got some groceries at Walmart yesterday. And I, it's kind of like knowing what's a good price at each place. Um, but cherry picking the deals is really a good way of saving your groceries. Um, all these really good for things you can't find on sale. And there are some things at Walmart that are cheaper than at Kroger or whatever. Um, but I would recommend kind of don't be loyal to one specific store. Um, kind of cherry pick, see the ads for the week and go where the best prices are for that week. It's like last week I went to a local store here that had a really good sale. Um, called Respects. I doubt any of you guys have one of those unless you're local. Um, but they had a crazy three day, or no, it wasn't even a three day sale. It was a one day only sale. And they had a bunch of deals. So I went there last week. But like this week, I didn't go there because there really wasn't much going on. Um, so kind of like keep your eyes peeled for what stores you have in your area. And um, yeah, all these good though. I will say that, especially if you can't find what you want on sale, Aldi's really good. I would say if you have Walmart and Aldi, do what you can at Aldi. Because Walmart is just, they're, I mean, they're, like I said, some things are cheaper, but some things are just not. And now that they quit price matching, which that's been years ago, but that was so nice because you could literally go to walmart and bring your ads with you and literally get everything at walmart and i did that a lot and it was so nice then they got rid of it because basically they know people are going to shop at walmart anyway because of everything in one place and so they stopped the price matching but i, I would go in there every week and i would price match it was so cool because price match at walmart Walmart had more rebates on Ibotta and all the apps and stuff that the local grocery stores didn't have. So by price matching at Walmart, then I also got the rebates. It was awesome. But yeah, they quit price matching um, years ago. Does anybody remember those days of price matching? I think they quit that, oh my gosh, around the time I started the channel. I mean, I think like the year I started the channel. I, I loved me some price matching. Thank you for answering my question. It's a total game changer that you can use digital coupons, online orders at Target. Yeah, I can't believe, I actually didn't even realize that 
they just now did that. But I've heard some other people say it. I can't believe they didn't do that. It's pretty much everybody else pretty much has that as an option that they can use digitals um, with it. So, but glad Target finally, finally did it. I love self-checkout too. I know their self-checkout. I don't get paid for social interaction either. <laughs> Um, I love self checkouts. I don't have to wait a long time. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, for nothing else, I can just get through there probably twice as fast. Now there are times, especially if a lot of stuff and there's nobody at the regular checkout, then I'll go to the regular checkout. For me, it's more about time saving. But nine times out of ten, it's just quicker for self checkout. And like today, I had two transactions at Walmart and two at Kroger. Having to do that at a regular line would take up so much more time and feel like kind of like inconsiderate to the customers behind me. And so if they ever do get rid of self-checkout, it'll make doing multiple transactions really tough. Not impossible, but tough. Like I did at a Dollar Tree. Um, today I did two transactions. I actually did three, but I went back in to do another one. But, um, you know, and they were fine with it. But I just, you know, I feel bad for people behind me. I don't want to take up people's time, but I agree. It depends on how much I'm purchasing and if I feel like bagging it myself. That's pretty much exactly for me, too. Sometimes I do just go to regular line, especially if it's a bigger order, just because it gets, you know, gets through it quicker. But especially if I'm, like, couponing. Like, if I'm extreme couponing, I prefer the self-checkout because I can just be more in control and not have to worry about anybody, like, getting mad or misinterpreting something or things like that. Um, I do still have my second channel. It's a DoorDash channel now. A gig work channel um, where I do like ride alongs and stuff doing orders for like DoorDash and Instacart. I just cashed out on Tech Video One in like a year. I finally deleted the app. Yeah, that's that's what it finally got to for me too because it's like just now. Yes, Kaylee. I do remember that when Walmart had when you could scan the QR code and Walmart price matched their app. I can't remember what it was called. It was called um, Savings Catcher. That was short lived. Savings Catcher annoyed me because it only worked on select stores. Like they wouldn't price match drug stores like Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens. They wouldn't honor that on Savings Catcher. I feel like it missed some of my grocery stores. Um, so, yeah. I don't know why they just didn't keep the ad matching, but nothing good lasts forever. I love Aldi for non coupon grocery shopping. Program products are my top picks for grocery deals. Yeah, I totally think that's wise. Um, like I said, some groceries I'll get at Walmart, but if it's on sale at Kroger, it, it always works out cheaper pretty much if it's on sale. Um, like Walmart is not the lowest price on a lot of stuff. Those prices at Walmart are more expensive than I can get them at other stores on sale and or coupons or basics, et cetera. Yeah, if it's especially if it's a coupon, I'm like going back to that cereal example. It's free plus the money maker right now at Kroger. I guarantee you, and I'll look it up for an example. I guarantee you that same box at Walmart is like four something dollars. Yeah, four dollars and ninety three cents is what it costs at Walmart. Four dollars and ninety three cents. So it's insane. And it pains me. Like, my grandma, she is brand, like, not brand loyal. She's store loyal to Walmart. She just, she wants her groceries from Walmart. She thinks it's the best prices. She's always been that way. Um, you know, people have that preconceived kind of thing. Well, Kroger's the more expensive grocery store. Um, and it pains me because I like to do her grocery order for her. Um, and to see her paying for stuff like oh my gosh i'm like oh my gosh you can get it for a better price but you can't always change people's minds when they have it in their head while walmart's the like cheaper store so 
Seriously, it's all about comparing. And it's never been easier. If you have Walmart's app and Kroger's app, you can literally look at the same product and see how much it costs. And you can find out in like 30 seconds who has the cheapest price where. And it's it's a big deal. It really is. People that think Walmart's cheapest thing, you can still get a $5 phone at Subway. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they are. Sometimes Walmart is cheaper. It just depends. And that's why I say you can't be, like, store loyal. This is the only store I'm willing to shop at. Because, sorry, the phone's ringing. Each week, it, it can change from week to week. But something I have noticed, um, and this is crazy for a 25 cent difference, but Dollar Tree, people assume because it's Dollar Tree that it's cheaper, but really it's not anymore. The 25 cent difference really does make quite a difference. A lot of those things are cheaper at Walmart now, or Dollar General especially, because Dollar General still has the dollar section. It's so like all that stuff people went to Dollar Tree for, like the cleaning supplies and the, you know the cheap cleaning supplies and cheap toiletries and stuff that are a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, a dollar at Dollar General. So like the appeal to Dollar Tree isn't quite what it used to be, in my opinion. A lot of you guys remember the price matching. Yes, I loved price matching so much. I had my favorite cashier at Walmart, and he was so good about it. He would let me price match at self-checkout. It was nice. So I was using self-checkout even back then. <laughs> Walgreens cash never expires, so if you use your Walgreens cash, unregister reward purchases, and just get back and forth if those work. Especially if you make sure to use your apps and rewards also. Yeah, for sure. That's the way to do it. Comparison shopping. Is the way to save money in these multiple stores. And Walmart won't even price match with their own website anymore. The price is lower. I yeah, I have heard my stores like that too. Some will, but some won't. I did hold up a fine, I'm sure though. Oh, I'm sure I did too. I price matched product in Walmart's online price. Store was $222, product online was 75 cents. One store employee said no, but another one said, should we do it? Yeah, that's kind of how it is here, too. Three big apps get me better tonight. I passed up on a spark. I don't know. I actually messaged you about it. Um, Kaylee does gig work, and we message back and forth on Instagram, about, like orders and stuff. Um, I had a spark come tonight for $78, and I'm beating myself up. I should have took it, but... I don't know. I just didn't think I'd have the time, and it was kind of going out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and just a huge order, like ninety something units, and I just didn't, I didn't feel it. Should have took it though, probably. But also, um, my Walmart's not the most friendly with Spark orders, so. And the angry lady typically works this um, second shift or whatever at Walmart. So it's like, I don't think I'm going to do this tonight. But I should have because I barely made anything after that. So, yeah. Fun times, fun times. Jingit. I do remember Jingit. I remember Jingit. I remember Shrink. I remember Ma Mary. No. No, Maryfield's what we have now. Moby Save. Moby Save. And you guys have couponed for a long time. Those apps should ring a bell. Yeah, CoinOut is definitely not worth it anymore. And then when you started Hypata. <laughs> yeah, I was all excited about um, getting like 50 cents back on milk or something. That's why I signed up. 
I love HEB. They have best meat and produce always fresh and prices are good. Yeah, I've heard they're very um, comparable to Walmart, but they actually do sales and stuff. Prices are so high now. I only shop when things are on sale. I totally get it because it's crazy right now. Target price matching is great. I never price matched at Target, actually. You should do a comparison from pre-pandemic prices to now. Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be a good video for sure. It blows my mind how much stuff has gone up. Subway is really expensive nowadays. Hi to Rita. It's only twenty five for a can of veggies. A dollar tree is not Gucci. No, that's ridiculous. There's always been things that they're more expensive on. Um, like that, even at a dollar, it was ridiculous. Um, Bianca, it shot me hard to use. I heard it's good, but gotta figure out how to use it. Actually, it's really easy. It's one of the easier ones, in my opinion. Um, just get the app and make sure your PayPal's linked. And all you gotta do is activate the offers um, that you wanna do, scan the barcode, and that's it. And you'll get the money in your PayPal. For me, it usually comes through super quick. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the easier ones. Team new fans. <laughs> I've not ordered from them in a little bit. My mom loves Timu. I use store apps while well in store. I'll look up another store I'm going to and see if an item is cheaper. And sometimes I'll look at the following these add to. Yes, I love doing that. I'll be in the store. I'm going to check Kroger. I'm going to check Walmart and see how much this is. Is Spark worth it for gig work? I think so, 100%. Um, I actually used to have really good success with spark and i still probably could um but dana has the lady bothered you anymore harassing you when you shop um so if you don't know um there's a wonderful person at walmart who um misunderstood what i was doing with a spark order uh, if you guys don't know what that even is basically walmart um has a delivery program or whatever where um people deliver Walmart grocery orders. And what you do is some of the orders you pick up curbside and take them to people's houses, and then some of them um, take them. You go in the store and shop them or whatever. And then you go up to self-checkout and you scan this little QR code and you bag the stuff. You don't bring it up in the register, which looks shady. I mean, I'll admit it does, but that's what they say to do um, in the app. And it's, you know, Walmart Spark. So that's what they say to do, so that's what I did. And this lady who I have found out is like security at Walmart plus shift lead. I guess she does both, which is kind of weird. She thought I was trying to steal from Walmart and I was not. Um, and I've tried explaining this to her, but as I've confirmed with actually somebody who used to work there, if you get on her like list of people she doesn't like, she will basically target you every time you're in there to try to intimidate you. Um, so I reported her to the manager. The manager didn't care. Um, I then reported her to um, higher ups, and they really didn't care either, unfortunately. Um, they said they have turned it to the market manager or something. Um, I've never heard from them. I don't expect to hear from them, so kind of unfortunate. But, um, you know, the other day, she was there, and I was in there, and I bought um, some, like, storage containers, um, the big, like, storage totes. And I walked right up to her and I said, do you need to see my receipt for these? And she said, no, just kept walking. <laughs> but you know what? If I see her, I will volunteer that receipt because I ain't a thief and I'm not going to have you thinking I am. So yeah, but with Spark, it's a little bit different because... You don't, like I said, you don't ring up the items, and it's just kind of a lot. So, I definitely think it's worth it, though. And most stores don't have problems. Like, Kaylee saves money. She's been doing Spark, what, Kaylee, like three years, four years? And most people never have problems. My store's just insane, I guess. I mean, the other Walmart in town's really nice, so I don't know. But I, I think it's worth it. I do. If, um, if your store's not crazy. Am I from Ohio? Yeah, and Walmart used to have an ad. Yeah, I remember seeing ads too. 
Hi to Penny. Four years. Okay. Yeah, and most people don't have problems. It, it's so weird that my store's psycho, basically. <laughs> it sucks because um, my store's really nice, other than her. But I think, I mean, I don't know if they talked to her and that's why she didn't want to see my receipt the other day, but I, I'll, I'll flat out offer it to her. Because I have nothing to hide. Oh, that's cool. Coupon cabin. I got a dollar fifty for buying almond grease milk. Nice. I have not. Um, I didn't know they had rebates. Yeah, I've heard of the site, but I didn't know they had rebates. Um, there are windows in here, actually, right in front of me. But there's none on this wall because it's out in the, like behind this wall is the garage. So that's why you don't see windows. But there are windows in here. With Spark, can I choose to just do pickup orders and drop off versus shopping? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, they, they have pickup orders as well. In fact, I think you'll get more pickup orders than shopping. In my experience, so someone like that at Acme, I say I'll pray for you and be extra kind. Yeah, and it, it honestly, I don't understand why the stores are fine with someone who basically bullies people working there, um, but Walmart clearly is. Like I said, I talked to somebody who used to work at that Walmart, and they said she, you know, if she just gets somebody that she doesn't like, basically she will treat them like that. But whatever. Kill him with kindness, that's the saying. And she was annoyed that I went up to show her the receipt, but whatever. If I was a thief, would I offer you my receipt? Um, I haven't used Inbox Dollars for a little bit. A couple weeks ago I did. If there's a good deal on Swagbucks... Or inbox sellers or to do all those apps. Typically, I'll use them all to stock up on a deal. Contacted Purina. They sent me some other good coupons. Oh, yeah, it's great. Purina typically does do um, good coupons. Swagbucks, Inbox Dollars, Tada, My Points. Those are all owned by the same company, but check out the D1 and Shop Me. I also have some weird connection um, with them as well. So you'll see those rebates pretty much on all those apps. Um, so they are affiliated. You can do the deal on each of the apps, but you just can't buy, like, let's say um, there's a rebate for a dollar back for this buy drink. There's a dollar on Swagbucks, a dollar on Inbox Dollars, a dollar on um, Shop Me, and a dollar on Checker 51. I couldn't just buy one and upload that to all four apps, but I could buy one on one transaction, upload that one to Swagbucks, buy one on Inbox Dollars, upload that one to to Dom or whatever. So you can do the deal on each apps, um, each of the apps, but um, you can't just like buy one and upload the receipt to all of them. So hopefully that makes sense. But it's a great way to stock up. Like a couple weeks ago, we had that Palm Olive. The little palm olives. I was able to get 12 of them total between three apps. All right, guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I got one more question. Let me check. Do you have the mint toast fetch? I didn't know there was one. I do. I do. Sweet. Can the train Jackson do the same day? Yes, you can literally just do them back to back. And that's typically what I will do at self checkout. Just do them back to back and um, upload one, you know, one receipt to each app. Your favorite deal today? Um, the Rockstar drinks. All right, guys, that is all that I have. Oh, I love the Arvin Hammer one. That was really good.
Anyways, guys, that is all for today's live. I really hope y'all did enjoy. Come back tomorrow for my Walmart deals video. It's going to be awesome. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you all so, so much for joining me.